So I grew up in the church, and I was, all of my friends were church kids. I had so much fun. I mean, I was in church on Sunday, Wednesday night, uh, Friday night. I mean, it was, it, all my social life was based around kids in the church. And, um, and that was great. And, and it got to high school, and all of a sudden, the Beatles came out. And I went, oh, well, that's kind of, you know, and I was a natural mimic anyways. So I watched the Beatles, and I said, well, that would be fun to do. Right in the middle of all this, somebody throws a chicken on stage. I see Alice holding a chicken. He's going he's gonna to throw it out. Hang on, that thing is never going to fly. A chicken's a bird. You know, it's all my, this is all my logic is working. The bird's got feathers. It'll fly away. Well, it did. And the chicken goes right back into the front row. And the audience tears it to pieces and throws it back on stage, parts of it. And gave him this huge standing ovation. The place went wild. I think one of the most interesting aspects of Milwaukee is the fact that it's the only major American city to have ever elected three socialist mayors. Does this guy know how to party or what? Huh? Huh? Huh. Okay. Well, we gotta get going. No, no, no. Stick around. Hang out with us. Cool. Yeah, we'll stay and hang around with you. Yes. With Alice Cooper. We're not worthy! We're not worthy! We're not worthy! I got up in the morning, one morning, on the road, in a Holiday Inn, and there it was. I'd thrown up blood all over the place. Mm. And I said, well, that looks great on stage, but it, in a Holiday Inn, nobody really sees it. You know, it was funny when I went to the psychiatrist afterwards. Uh, <laughs> he said, I'd love to talk to your psychiatrist. <laughs> he was, you know, he said the funniest thing, and I never figured it out before. He says, well, how much do you drink on stage? And I said, I never drink on stage. Well, Alice, the character, never drinks. Right. He said, yeah, okay, so let me get this straight. Alice never, you're blaming everything on Alice. Of course. Right. Yeah. But Alice never drinks. Right. And I thought, you're right. When I'm on stage, I never touch a drop on stage for two hours. It's the only two hours I don't drink. All the girls and boys. You're away again, Al. Don't call me Al. You stay there. Nice putt, Alice. Oh, it must be great to be a rock star. Oh, would you like to be a rock star? Well, well uh, yeah, sure, sure. Love to be a rock star. Well, then just sign this contract. Uh, yes, I have a friend that runs a service. He could guarantee to make you a rock star. Uh, yeah, well, uh, when, when I said I wanted to be a rock star, I was just sort of half kidding. I mean, oh, I, I'd like to be an astronaut, too. Well, then just cross out the word rock star and write in astronaut. <laughs> You know, we were the first generation brought up by the Beatles and the Stones, but the bands that really hit home for us were the Yardbirds, the Who, the Kinks. They gave us our musical education. I hope I never outgrow a Pete Townsend windmill chord. I hope I never outgrow a Jeff Beck lead guitar. I wish I could tell you that being in the hall now, that uh, we'll never embarrass you, but I really can't make that promise. <laughs> I mean, after all, we are Alice Cooper. It's what we do.